Hi, uh, today we're looking at Jeremiah 18, 19 and 20. And in this passage, Jeremiah does two kind of symbolic actions. The first one is um, with a potter. He goes to see a potter making some clay. And the potter is basically doing his stuff at the wheel and the wheel's going round and he's shaping this pot. And the pot goes wrong. And so the potter just thinks, I'm not going to keep making that pot. So he kind of like smacks it around and, and reshapes it and makes something fresh with the pot. And, um, and, and Jeremiah says, actually, God's going to do the same with Judah. You know, God's been trying to shape you, Judah, in this way, but, but, you're, but you've gone wrong and, you've, and, and it's not what I wanted. So I'm going to change it. And that's going to be a painful process. That's the judgment that's going to come. But I'm going to reshape you in a different way. Um, and so as a result of this prophecy that Jeremiah gives, he gets threatened uh, by the people, but he has courage and he keeps going. And so he does another thing and he gets this clay jar and he smashes it on the floor. And obviously when you do something like that, people are going to look around and think, why is Jeremiah smashing a clay pot on the floor? On the floor? I mean, he does do a lot of odd things and say a lot of harsh words to us, but why is he doing this? Why is he so people start to listen to him? And he basically says, you know, this is what's going to happen to Judah. They're going to get smashed to smithereens by the enemies because of the sin that they've been doing. And, and as a result of this, Jeremiah gets beaten up. Um, and, but he still has time to tell the priest, uh, who's called Pashur, that his name is being changed from, um, from Pashur to terror on every side <laughs> which is not really the kind of name you would want you know my name's terror on every side but but God changes his name to that because they're about to face terror on every side and so it's part of the judgment and and Jeremiah just can't stop he says in um, chapter 20 uh, verse 9 he says my his word God's word in my heart is like a fire a fire shut up in my bones I'm weary of holding it in indeed I cannot and he just can't stop he just can't stop preaching the word of God because God's given him this stuff and it's like a fire in his bones and and I, I, I often pray to God like I said God would you let your word be a fire to me you know that in my bones I have to tell people about you and you know and, and he's getting persecuted for that but it's because he's preaching uh, the word of God. It's because he's doing um, what well, you know what what God wants him to do. And, and sometimes um, we we have to go pay that price. Sometimes we have to do that because God has given us something to say, and we have to say it in in all you know being as faithful as we can to God and accept whatever the consequences are. And he's uh, and and that we would pray again that God would give us that fire in our bones that would move us to share the gospel with other people.